Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. I want to thank everybody for that is joining me on live stream and live chat and those watching on YouTube after. Please like, please subscribe if you have not yet, and please comment. Let me know what you guys think so far. Alright guys, let's get with this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, we're here with Poppy and uh, I forgot his name from the centaurs. So let's talk with them and continue. Let's get this. And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try to kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone, and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Okay, so his name is Dorn. <clears throat> I just gotta wait and see if it'll let me on that path. New quests are available. That's all it's gonna say. It doesn't automatically give it to us. All right, so go to this one. Yeah, usually at the end of uh, the quest, you'll automatically tell us where to go. But I'm assuming it's only doing this because it will let us give it a, a chance to do other things before this one.
Okay, is it gonna attack us or? Yep, I'm gonna have to defeat it. Yeah, I'm not going all the way over there to grab that one. All right, let's continue. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there, could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Me too. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Graham's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Rebellion. Greetings. Spiders. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. All right. Moonstone down here. I forgot the buttons for some reason. All right, so got the moon. See all these up here. Oh, so they're going to come out little by little. Light and the darkness. Let's find out. Light in the darkness, it said. So... That's dark. That's light. Perhaps it has to 
do with the light in the darkness? Oh, we find out. Really, Poppy? You're not doing nothing? So the light is lit up. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. So he's gonna go get the herd. Okay, so it looked like the moon the sun goes to this dial in between these two. And the sun, the moon, goes between these two, where Thorin's at. Then it'll open up that. All right, let's get in. Stuff. Look at the murals on the wall. Creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. So what? Okay, looks like we have to go this way. Just grab all these stuff. Revelia. It's a lot of coins. Uh righty. There is that. Come on. Revelia. Looks like there's a treasure. Just that open that enough to get in. <clears throat> Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. 
She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Yeah, you never know what, uh... Um... What chest would... I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? What chest will give you what? But... Rebellion. That one... This one's easy to grab. Grab you. That's fire. So that's this one. And then there's that one. Which is over there. Here's a bath one. And then... I know, Poppy. There's a lot of puzzles and stuff that does this. If there's anything else. Nope. Alright. Throw you down. Hit Poppy with it. <laughs> There's that. Uh, fire. And ice. Of course. How clever. Look at this place. Well, it seems like this is a battle. Little puppy tweeting. Forgot to have to cover your track. What was that? Not diarrhea. That's for certain. Yep. Stir curse, stir curse. Oh, they're easy to kill.
Yeah, I don't have this on. I have this on the harder setting. There we go. Are the two of you unharmed? I had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Doran. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elik. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Alright, unlock the doors to the snidgets. Let's find out how to do that. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I thought that would be like a puzzle. to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. What an honor. Merlin, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance... <sighs> No harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Bird in hand complete. Can I have one? I want one. Um, okay, so we got done with the Snidgets and Poppy. So let's continue and get with Natty and hopefully we get rid of Harlow since in the last one we fought Rookwood and defeated him. I have to leave because it won't let me get out of here via map. Have you? Full on potions. Oh, I can't fly out of here. I have to actually run all the way back.
All right, so we're outside. There's two spider nests here. That's like something I've been doing off screen. Trying to do all these extra stuff. All right. Oh, Natty's way over there. Let's get with our map. Wait, where's that? Oh, okay. Let's get with this one. She's over. She's over there, but won't let me fly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did all the uh, the flying t uh, trials. So, I unlocked the third and final um, add-on for the crew. Alright, let's talk to Natty and hopefully we fight and get rid of Harlow. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yes, I am. Let's go. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an hour from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. I'm ready. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickham. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Well, yeah, this looks like a... Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where yeah, is this... he? I do not know. We should look around. Yeah, this is a ambush. Here they come. Ah, uh, how delicious. <laughs> I did that. Come on, let me get that. Yeah. 
Avada Kedai. Why is there no health bar? Yeah, health bars are gone. I'm assuming we're waiting for our tech. Oh, there it is. Little Nat Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Bring it on. Just like with Wolfwood. Um, why didn't you guys try to interfere with that? They all walked in all gingerly and... I gotta wash my mouth. YouTube. <laughs> are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Um, okay, I'm here. It is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. <coughs> Sorry for the cough, guys. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... Boom. You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh, my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, 
It seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank Aww. you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Trophy earned, the avenging gazelle. <coughs> Alrighty. So we got those done. See what we got next. Poppy in the Great Hall. <coughs> Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Let's say friend, because for some reason... Like I said, if there's anything going on after this, I want as many people on my team. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and well... I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or oh, Gran, of course. You should widen your circle. Highwing is nice company, but perhaps it's time to add a few more friends to your circle. I am starting to see the appeal of a human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us? Best friends trophy earned. We're almost at 34, right? <laughs> Alright, so what do we have left? We got the Cursed Tomb. The Solve the Bell goes in hand in hand with this one. But I will get decimated. I'm only a 33, not a 37. We got the Absconder Cave. And the Dandelion Keys, which is basically just going around grabbing those stuff. 
and then the final which would probably be next episode so let's try the encounter see if we could beat it got some time for that I've always said that travel broadens the mind since uh your eyes are still in your head last time I tried it I was under leveled and got my butt handed to me <laughs> because you go through all these spiders You get this quest from somebody. This could be the Acromantula cave that Stradley mentioned. All right. I try. Now that's taken care of. I need to find the heirloom for Milo's daughter. So we gotta find an heirloom. Yeah, having Avida Kadava makes some of this so easy. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. Really? Eight legs is simply too many. There's the heirloom. Oh, you are right. I'm sorry. I meant to fight him, uh, fight the spider without using Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Saying it all wrong. <laughs> oh, where's that? Exit. Can I fly? Yep. Let's fly out of here. And then teleport. Take it, you decided. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like a reward. This is quite difficult to retrieve. Shouldn't I get a reward for my trouble? I, uh, of course I'm happy to pay you. I, I can't afford much. I promised to pay for all the supplies Milo's daughter will need to attend Hogwarts one day. Maybe you could sell the watch. <laughs> wow. I don't think you realize the trouble I went to retrieving the watch. Perhaps you can sell it for the girls' supplies. I should never have mentioned the heirloom. Such selfishness. Here is your money, you extortionist. You're no better than Rookwood and his Ashwinders. Uh, that's funny. Alright, 
so we got the keys that one's hard that goes with that and that's the two but that one's even hard to get to also i have to figure that one out and that it's been taking some time to try to figure out it's in the ground but i don't know where to get in there so all right guys we're getting near the end so Thank you guys for joining me on live stream and live chat. Thank you for those that are watching on YouTube after. Uh, please like, please subscribe if you have not. And please uh, comment, let me know what you guys think. And please uh, promote my channel. I've gotten a lot of views, I appreciate that. But the subscribers have not been up to par. So if you can, please uh, help out. And I'll be pumping out a lot more content, no matter how everything goes. I enjoy doing this for you guys. I appreciate you guys. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next. Have a blessed day. Peace.